welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am finally back after about three months of not doing any videos. I know it's so bad, but I was so busy with work. I went for a promotion at work, got lit, then I had to do training, then I passed out, and then, to be fair, I've just been making too many excuses. So today, I'm gonna do a video because I've just went shopping this morning with my daughter and we bought so much stuff and then we was in the living room and then I was just like, I need to do a video about this. I need to do it. My other haul videos have just been going crazy. Like my views have gone up so much. I think my Beauty Bay one, it's like at 1.2 thousand, like 1,200, 1.2K, if you know what I mean. So obviously haul videos are really popular. So I just wanna say thank you guys for messaging me. I've had so many people, especially at work, I'm not gonna lie, loads of people at work saying, how come you ain't doing a video? I'm disappointed. And also yourselves, I've had subscribers email, message me, inbox me, comment on my videos, when's the next one? So I just wanna say thank you so much for like missing me. It makes me feel so special, honestly. I feel amazing. You know what, can I just say something before we get started on this video? I went on the sunbed today and I am a little bit red. I know, don't worry, I've not been in a fight. I'm going to a beef fat in four weeks, so I'm just prepping my skin, going on the sunbeds to, you know, start my tanning because I don't want to get to a beef for looking like a ghost. I'm one of these people, I don't tan well, so I have to like get prepared to go abroad to go on the sun. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so. Today is a payday haul. I bought loads of things, and to be fair, most of it is for my daughter. So, this is more of a haul video for me, but more my daughter than anything. And I also bought some things for my mum as well because, Mum, I love you. I'm taking my mum to a B fair, first time abroad. She's never ever been on an aeroplane, she's never been inside an airport. Well, she has been inside an airport, she's dropped me off loads of times, but she's never ever been in a departure lounge, and she's never had a holiday ever 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 i don't even think she stayed in a hotel you know so it's my mum's first holiday abroad so i bought some products for well not products i bought some stuff for her as well so enough of me rambling thank you so much guys i just love you so much let's get started okay so the first shop i actually went into was um pep and co now i did see a tv show of this of about how cheap it was and I don't know what draw me in there. I've walked past it loads of times and I've never really gone in there. But today I just thought I'll go in there and I bought so much stuff, so I'm glad I did. So the first item I got, this top is like the worst bloody thing to wear to for a video. It's supposed to be off the shoulders, but it's just agitating me, so I'll just leave it. So the first product I bought was for my mum. It is a lovely red top. So it's a cold shoulder top. It was £10 down to six. It's nice and baggy. So it'd be really nice for her to wear on one of the evenings in a Ibiza. Next item is some jeans. My daughter saw these and she was like, Mom, I've seen them on Instagram. I want them, I want them. And they are some embroidery jeans. I hope I'm showing you these quite well. But they're lovely, they've got like a little rip there and they've got lovely embroidery on the legs. I got a lovely little, it, it's a top, but I tried it on and okay, it will be a short dress, but it's a beef and you know, everyone's half naked there anyway. So I think I'm gonna pull this off as a dress, but it's like, oh my God, it does look really short when I say it on camera, but I tried it on and it was, covers my bum and that. It's like quite high up on the thigh, but it just looked really, really nice. Okay, it's inside out. It's not good to show you like that, is it? See? So it's like off the shoulder, like a bit what I'm wearing now. And I just love the colors. It just reminds me of candy. I got my mum another t-shirt. I think I might give her this to wear to the airport. So it's something kind of like loose and nice and thin and comfortable a little bit of a cut detail by the neck I've got this nice t-shirt like you have to feel it to sort of appreciate it but this is for me and it's like 
a coral it's really pretty i think you'll need to wear a string vest under it because it's quite see-through or if i wear a nice like bikini top and it's lovely can you like sort of see the material a t-shirt for my daughter my daughter loves t-shirts whenever she gets home all she does is sit in t-shirts so wake me up when i'm famous should have got this for myself really shouldn't i Another t-shirt for my daughter and she goes she wants to use this as a nighty while we're out in Ibiza because me, my mum and her are obviously sharing a room and it's just got like New York, New York, New York, Berlin, Tokyo and all that lot. It's really, really soft as well, like really, really nice. So it'd be good, nice and airy for her to wear on holiday. Also got my daughter some shorts, some little like white, these look massive though, they're a size eight but... I don't know is it me or do they look big but yeah she just wanted some nice little white shorts for the holiday love this dress i got my daughter it's got the embroidery detailing again it's like a shirt dress it's really really nice like the end lovely lovely color so i've got her that's for one of the evenings on a holiday now on to primark I didn't buy myself anything from Primark. I just bought my mum and my daughter. The first item from Primark I bought my daughter was these lovely embroidered trainers. These were the last in the size as well. And they only had like two pairs after. So I think these have probably been selling out quite mad. But they look really nice with those, with the white dress. And it would look nice with the jeans as well. And they were only £12. My daughter loves this sort of style. Like she loves Vans, Vans. Converse. She loves this sort of style shoe, so she is absolutely in love with these. And my daughter picked up two pairs of clear glasses for a pound. Well, this one was a pound, this one was two pounds. I can't pull these off at all. I think it's just, because I'm getting old. I ain't like retro anymore. Or do they look good on me? Oh no, you see. They actually make me look like a teacher, so. They're quite nice, but they look so good on my daughter because she's going through that like 80s little vibe now. So yeah, so two pairs of glasses. Oh, and the rest is underwear. I don't think I really want to show you the underwear. Just got my mum and my daughter some underwear for the holiday. Got some makeup wipes. Well, cucumber facial cleansing wipes for two for a pound in Primark. Can't complain. And then my daughter picked up another choker. Do you know how many chokers she's got? And it's got a really nice like detailing at the front my favorite shop well i tell a lie boots is my favorite but the boots was like on fremlin walk so it's a bit too much of a walk so super drug but second best shop you know gotta get a bit of makeup shopping in there and you know what was really surprising today there were so many offers like my last bag when I tell you how much all these things was, it was just ridiculous. But in Superdrug today, they was doing some really, really good deals as well. First item I got from Superdrug is my trusty hair dye. This is what I do my roots with. It is 089, which is ironic because that was the year I was born in. Bit of sweet chocolate. This is what colour my hair is. So if anyone's wondering what colour my hair is, it's not real. I'm really, really like light brown, dark blonde horrible color it's like a mouse gray brown it's horrible but yeah this is what i dye my hair with this is a body fantasies vanilla signature spray and my daughter asked for this the other day and it was like four pound fifty and i was like i'm not paying four pound fifty for that it's not even victoria's secret but why am i opening the lid like it doesn't have a spray but um we went in there today oh that's lovely we went in there today and it was on sale for £1.19, so half price. So she finally got her little spray she wanted the other day. But it looks pretty empty. I think we didn't pick a proper one, you know. Revolution Ultra Bronze Bronzer. It was only three pounds and it's 15 grams. And look at the size of it, it's massive. And it does have a really, really nice swatch to it. So I'm really excited to try that. Because I'm going on holiday, you know what it's like, girls. I'm going on holiday in four weeks. Like, this time in four weeks, I'll be landing... Well, I should be in Ibiza. It's about five o'clock now. So, yeah, I'd be in Ibiza this time in four weeks. So, I don't want to do my roots. But I know they don't look bad now on camera because 
I bought this today. The Magic Retouch for your roots. Uh, it's really good. Can you really tell that I've got roots and my roots are pretty bad? Like, I've had so many people comment about them at work, but you just shake it up and I just sprayed it in my parting. And it's good and it was six pounds and can't complain really. So this can help me now until I do my roots just before my holiday. Got some Blistex Relief Cream. This is for my daughter. She's got braces and she gets quite sore mouth sometimes. I got some Patisserie de Balm hand cream in lemon bonbon. Let's put some of this on. This smells so nice. It smells like lemon meringue and I love lemon meringue. Oh, actually no, it don't. Smell really strong lemon. Actually, it does smell a bit like a toilet bleach. Now this next stuff. Oh my god, the makeup deals they were doing in Superdrug was off the chain. I got a free gift. Well, technically I got two free gifts. So the first makeup items I bought were Maybelline and they were doing an offer, two for £12. And I've always wanted to try these foundations. The first one is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 115 Ivory and the Superstay 24 in the colour nude beige i'm wearing these two right now because i used a bit of this and i was quite shocked at how runny it was it's quite runny my face and i didn't feel like i was getting enough coverage because i've been going on the sunbed i'm getting a lot of freckles and my beauty spots coming out I love this beauty spot i think it's so cute so i've put a bit of this just on my cheeks it's doing really well i'm going out tonight so we see how well they do but for two for 12 pounds that's so good and the girl who was um cashing me up at the checkout she was lovely and she was saying to me she was like it's mad isn't it because this is like 10 pound on its own and this was like nine pound and it was two for 12 so really really good deal two of these the arrays the instant anti-age the eraser i i got it in light for concealer i've got it on today we all know how amazing this is. It's ridiculously famous on YouTube and with all beauty gurus. If you don't love it, you got a problem. I bought two of these for £12, but it's normally £8.99 each. So, again, ridiculously good bargain. Bloody good. The last makeup product I got was with Brajour. I love Brajour Paris. And they had a deal on free for two. You know, that is so famous with boots. They're so famous with boots. They do a lot of free for two on all the makeup items. But today, they had the free for two on the brujour. But if you buy three items, you got a free bronzer. A limited edition. Like, look at the packaging on that. Oh, I love this bronzer. This was my first ever bronzer I ever bought. Oh, I dropped it like I drop everything. I need to drop some people out of my life as well. Oh, it smells so good. The packaging is lovely. So I got this for free, and this is worth about nine pounds. I don't know. I haven't bought one for ages because ever since I've grown up, I went to Benefit, so I haven't had one for ages. But I saw it, and it was for free, and I just thought, oh, let's go back, let's reminisce. To get that free item, I bought three items from Bajor. The first one is a Saw Seal Precision Eyebrow Pencil. I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I can't do my eyebrows perfect. I think that's the biggest flaw. My daughter can do them like a boss. So I just thought, oh, let me buy a pencil and go back to how I used to do it. I've used a pencil today, pretty easy. What colour is it? Ron Brunette number zero and another liquid liner the liner pencil 16 hours ultra black got it on my eyes today so i got that got a blush which is the bonjour blush in coral number 43 and i've got this on as well today i just hate it when they ruin it like i know they're trying to be good and putting a blush a brush in oh my god that is so rough i don't know why they do it but look how pretty that blush is got it on today so really really good Boots are killing it. No, it wasn't boots, it was super drug. Super drug was killing it today. Okay, last but not least, we went and done some shoe shopping. I go into this shop quite a lot, Deutschmann. I hope I say that right, Deutschmann. So I think it's a German shop, Deutschmann. And I went in there because I saw some flip-flops on sale because, you know, we're going on holiday. So I thought I'll go in there, see if there's any, like, really nice flip-flops and that. And I ended up coming out with quite a few pairs of shoes but when i tell you the price and you see what i got 
you are going to be outstanding. But Deutschmann is such a good shop to go get shoes in. The first shoe I bought from Deutschmann is some plain, lovely, grey, like plimsoll shoes. I like these. I like these when I'm just having a casual day and I'm going out. They're so comfortable. But if you see, really, they've got like a holographic unicorn thing going on. Bought these for me. And you know how much they was? They were twenty pounds down. Oh no, they were seventeen ninety nine down to four pound fifty. Now, how amazing is that? It's so cheap. And I got my daughter a pair as well. So same, you know, little holographic sort of detail, unicorny. Four pound fifty. So got my daughter a pair and got myself a pair. So I'm gonna probably take them on holiday if I do any day trips out. It's nice to have like comfortable shoes on instead of flip flops everywhere. Do you know what I mean? And where our hotel is, it's like in a cliff. So we're gonna be walking like up some rocks and stuff like that. I expect. So I don't want to be wearing flip flops and end up breaking my face because we all know that is what I do regularly. And then I bought these trainers, which I just think are so well. They're trainers, but. They're just so cute. Look at them. And they're like shiny pink. I think these would be great for a beefer as well. Like if I'm going out on the night. I hope you can see all the shimmer. And then it's sort of like, can you see the little zigzag? So it makes people think they're probably an Adidas. If you've got like bad eyes, people will think, oh, they're Adidas. But they're really nice. And these as well. These were £18 down to £4.50 as well. So, oh, so cheap can't complain last but not least the piastre resistance um these trainers i didn't really want to buy my daughter they were well they weren't expensive but i've literally just bought a pair of them and we went into deutschmann and she saw them and she was like mom mom look at them and they were like 45 pounds and i was like no shan no and she put one she put them on and when i saw them on her feet i just i said buy them because they look so good I mean, as if these are coming in back into fashion. Do you remember Reebok Classics? I remember like it was yesterday. I was in year six, St. Paul's School in Kings Norton, and everyone just started getting Reebok Classics, and I begged my mum, and she got me a pair. That was my first ever brand name trainers my mum ever bought me in year six. I know, sad, isn't it? But I remember I cherished them trainers and I run them into the ground. So much so, I even wore them to my year six leaving disco. I wore a nice little black shimmery dress and I wore battered Reebok classics with it. How beautiful are these? Oh, actually, do they match my nails? <laughs> they do. They're just so cool. It's just the classic Reebok design with a little bit of gold detailing. And I just think these are so cute. They're 45 pounds, but I can wear them if I want to as well because me and my daughter are the same sort of shoe size. So, haha. <laughs> it's fitness so adorable. Isn't they lovely? And I did actually buy a pair the other day. Let me get on cream ones. I wouldn't say they're as cool as these ones. Like, this colour is just so... And I think it's going to be so nice to wear these in autumn. These ones are so cool as well. I'm loving, like, all the cream. Like, all cream stuff. Oh. Reebok classics. I think I'm going to end up buying like loads of them. It's just so sick, isn't it? Well, that's everything I got today, guys. I just want to say thank you once again for coming back to my channel. Thank you for giving me support, asking me where my videos are, and my top is doing my head in. I will be definitely be doing more videos now. I, it feels so good just being back in front of the camera. So keep on watching i will definitely be doing more videos i'm gonna actually do a favorites video for all these months that i haven't done one because there's loads of items that i found these past three months that i'm loving so i'm going to do a favorites video soon so that will be coming not long after this take care of everyone be kind and i will see you all again soon Mwah. thank you